Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, 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 hello. I am back. I had to wait until my dog stopped barking. Hi, this is Kim. I am back with the second part to the Betty Boop video. Okay? There's a first part to this video where I show you online how to cut her, how many pieces it is. I also told you that she's cut on my Cricut Design Space. And then I cut her on my um, Cricut Cutter. The Cricut Cutter. Okay? She's cut on Cricut Design Space and then I, I cut her on the Cricut Cutter. I'm not going to show you that part because that would take forever to show you. But the pieces, there was seven pieces. I also showed you that on the video, the first video. I showed you how many pieces it was, okay? That's one, that's two, that's three, four, five, six, seven. The first piece is, okay, let me, let me tell y'all some other things first, too. Um, I do have a group. If you would like to join my group, my group is called the Black Queens Crafts Cricut Glitter and more. We're not we more so like to help um, in that group. I mean, if you join the group, you don't have to help if you don't want to, but you can also join the group and make videos, make tutorials. You can. Um, join our um there's a class not a class group in there but there's a uh, a mentor group where you can be helped um there's a portion of that in in the group and i i do tutorials in there um it's just an overall nice group we respect one another and i just love everybody in the group um it's quite a few people in there now. I think it's over 10,000 and it's just really a nice group. Okay, the first piece to this, I am going to show you the weeding part because there's a person on here that's always on my videos and she's always saying that I don't show you guys enough of what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to show you as much as I can. But as far as showing you how to cut, if you don't know that part, um, they do have other videos to show you how to weed. I mean, show you how to cut on the Cricut, okay? All right, so we're going to weed her eyes. The, this would be her eyes, okay? This was the first um, cut on the, uh, on the Cricut. And... Um, I'm going to just show you the weeding part right now. This is her eyes right here. I always start off in the beginning. I mean, in the corner. And try to pull it back from there, from the corner. This was a very easy cut. This design can be found on um, Cricut. I mean, on Etsy. Under designs by, I can't think of the rest of the name of it, but I'll get the name for you and I'll let you know what the name of it is. Designs, oh brother, let me see right quick. Hold on just a second in case I forget to put it on there. I'm going to go on my iPad right quick and get it for you. Um, it is called, come on, come on, come on, Designs, Designs for Print, D-E-S-I-G-N-S-F-O-R-P-R-I-N-T. That's where you can find the, the, the Betty Boop at, okay? If you want to make her, you can find the Betty Boop on there. Now, these are her, these little pieces right here go on her, her blue jeans. You can cut them if you want. 
And because there's another piece on here that I just use that piece strictly. I don't use these pieces right here. I just don't. But those are the pieces, the like little patches that go on her blue jeans. If you want to use them, you can. Okay, the next piece we're going to do is her shirt. Is um, her shirt. We'll weave that. I'll try to be as quick as I can. Because I know you guys got things to do. <laughs> and so just really be really careful how you um, pull it off. Because this is very detailed. And you don't want to pull off something that you might might need when you get ready to uh, iron it on to your t-shirt or whatever you're putting it on, okay? So just be really careful on some of the pieces that you have to weave. But this is a very, very, very nice cut. Um, it, it comes, when you go on the website, it comes in a P&G only. Um, you can get someone, if you can get someone to turn it into a SVG for you, that would be great. Because that's what I do. If I want something, because I love glitter, and, um, because I like glitter, I always, if I see something that's not too detailed, I'll have someone make it into a P, make it into a SVG for me. You have to pay them. Um, I pay my friend to make my uh, designs into an SVG. And he, he does a great job. He's very busy, but he will do it for you. I mean, do it for me. Let me see if I can find my glasses because I want to make sure my shoes are okay. I don't know why I sat down without my glasses. That was a no-no. And I thought they was over there somewhere. Just one second, guys. Okay, I got it. Ooh. Okay. Now, because I want to look on here and take off any little detailed pieces that might um, be on here. Because that's what makes it special. You get all the little detailed pieces. And it just makes it even the more special. Even if you miss it, it's okay. But if you do weed them, it just makes it even more special to me. So, if you can... Just take a look at it after you finish weeding it. And then everything that needs to be weeded will be in a line. And also you can look on your, um, at the image and you can tell what needs to be taken off of here. Okay. I don't know about this piece right here. Looks like a little X. Let me see. Gotta be needed. Scott should be taken off of here. I don't know why it's not coming off really good. Just give me one second. And I just happen to love this. I absolutely love. I'm gonna leave that like that until I get to it. Love making this. It, I, every time I make it, it's just. It just gets better and better. Okay, now these are her blue jeans. So just start up in the corner. I hope I'm right in this camera because I never know. Teddy, I know you got water in there. Now you're going to act like you don't have no water. Every time I start videotaping something or every time I get to videotaping something, he starts to acting like, he don't have no food, and he don't have no water, and 
and he'll start, he'll go and he'll come by his little tray and he'll start scratching it because he knows I'm going to come in there just to make sure he has water in there. So excuse me for that. Okay, so just go up here in the corner. Just, now her blue jeans were a little detailed, so you want to make sure you just go real slow when you start to uh, lead her. But she had a look like um, some lines in her blue jeans, and you want to make you want to get those lines out of there because, like I said, that's what makes your Betty Boop um, very detailed. So, you want to get these little lines out of there. Just take your time and weed them out of here. Normally, I probably would do this part, but like I said, I guess this lady says I'm not doing enough. So, I'm going to try to do better. Try to get better material so I can get better with it. Let me see. A couple more lines on here, and then I'm almost finished. Right before I came on um, to do this, I was just sitting there. I had just did an order for one of these because I do another Betty Boop on here too. And these are some of my um, biggest sellers are, are my Betty Boops. And... So, right before I came on here, I was looking at the TV, and I was looking at um, the updates on that Astro World um, thing that happened um, in Houston, Texas, and that just really, that was really something, guys. Um... Um, just horrible to me. I don't know if, um, even, I don't know if I would have allowed my kids to attend something like that. Um, especially for the ages. Okay, those are the jeans. Can to get rid of this stuff. Get that out of the way. I'll sweep that up in a few minutes. Um, now, these right here are her lips. I really don't know if I would allow my kids to attend a concert like that. Even if I went with them. Because I said, well, let me be quiet. <laughs> Not be quiet, but... See, every time I get on here, he won't start acting up now. He got, he got my comb in his mouth. Cause he, see, he just wanna, he just wants to act up because he knows. Here, here. So we just did the lips, and now we're going to do, I think these are like her earrings and her purse that goes on the side of her. So we just want to be careful, like I said, just go ahead on and see. So I'm missing some pieces right here. That was that little X that I was trying to take out of her sneakers. Sometimes you could just take your, uh, take your, um, the bottom, the back, the pointy side of your, um, pencil and, um, hold stuff down if you can. Okay, so just keep on going. Because sometimes, you know, your, uh, Vinyl will stick really well, and then sometimes it won't. It'll pull right up wrong with everything else. So you want to try to hold it down. You know, I messed up a couple of pieces right there, but it won't be too bad. 
I'll just keep on going. Just keep on going. And you're gonna, this part right here is like pieces to her blue jeans and no, I think this is her earrings and that's her purse right there. And then a little bit of her collar. So that's what that is. And never throw your uh, pieces away because sometimes if you need to fix something, it's very easy to fix it if you don't throw your pieces away. Okay? So never throw your pieces away. Now, gold is the hardest thing of them all when it comes to weeding. Gold is hard to weed. You have to really, really get right up in your uh, get right up in your light when it comes to weeding with the gold sizer vinyl. Okay, and just be really careful when you pull. Just be careful when you pull. And sometimes you just have to put it right up to the light so you can see it. So if I go away 